Captive wildlife laws vary around the world and even within the U.S. And with the popularity of the new Netflix show, Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness, Wisconsin I decided to look into captive wildlife issues globally and within Wisconsin. On a global scale, wildlife trade and possession is still alive and well. At least one in five vertebrate species on Earth are bought and sold on the wildlife market. 5,579 animals, 18% of vertebrates, are currently being traded globally. An additional 3,196 species are considered at risk, making a total of 8,775 species, or about one in three. Under Wisconsin's captive wildlife law, a person may not possess a wild animal that is native to Wisconsin without a license from the DNR. The DNR does not regulate most non-native species unless they are listed as a harmful wild animal, protected migratory bird, or are identified as federally endangered or threatened. Under state statutes, cougars, wild and feral swine, bears, including non-native bears, are considered harmful wild animals. In addition, a person may not possess, exhibit, propagate, sell, or purchase a harmful wild animal without specific authorization issued by the DNR. Currently, Wisconsin is only one of five states that does not have some form of statewide regulation and statutes regarding ownership of wild animals as pets. Wisconsin is just one of five states that allow residents to keep almost any animal they want as a pet. The others are Alabama, Nevada, North Carolina, and South Carolina. There's only 100 federal employees that regulate exotic animal import. Under the Federal Animal Welfare Act, USDA inspectors are charged with the task of monitoring licensed or registered animal facilities for quality control, but their staff and resources are limited. We do need to consider these exotic animals and, and the fact that it's not that if they escape, it's inevitable. They escape. This is Wisconsin Big Cat Rescue and Educational Center. We currently house 28 big cats, 19 tigers, 5 lions, and 4 leopards. What we are is we're just a place where these cats can come live and we give them a home to live out the rest of their lives. Actually, in the beginning, I was one of those that took pictures with cubs. Good money, which is why people do it. And then you realize that, you know, it's not great for the animals, it's not something that's good for them. We decided to change what we were going to do and actually help these animals. Currently we have a USDA license, we're licensed by the DNR, and we've uh, subjected ourselves for excess of 40 years to the license requirements uh, concerning these animals, and I don't really have an objection uh, to people that, uh, you know, have licenses, and I would support the bill as long as we had, you know, protection for the businesses and uh, the people that have uh, been operating under the rules and regulations for decades. Municipalities in recognizing the threat these animals pose to communities have taken it upon themselves to enact prohibitions at the local level. This creates a hodgepodge of inconsistent laws. SB 241 would fix that by creating a statewide law that will bring uniformity and make Wisconsin consistent with other states. The legislation introduced by Senator Van Wengard did not pass during the 2015-2016 legislative session and similar legislation brought up during the 2013-2014 session did not pass either. The bill would have generally prohibited the possession, propagation, and sale of dangerous exotic animals. These exotic animals include non-native big cats, non-native bears, crocodilians, and apes. The bill would still allow the breeding, sale, and ownership of certain types of exotic apes, reptiles, marsupials, rodents, and even zebras. While Wisconsin waits for future legislative action on exotic wild animal possession laws, the U.S. Congress has already introduced the 2019 Big Cat Public Safety Act, which failed to pass in the Committee of Natural Resources. Now, in response to Tiger King, Dozens of celebrities, along with the Animal Legal Defense Fund, are urging Congress to pass the bill. This has been a production of Wisconsin Eye. For more coverage, visit wisi.org. Wisconsin Eye is funded by donors like you. To donate, text WISI 
to 44321 or visit wisai.org slash donate.